Hi there, I'm Jana, and you are watching uh, Rocket SK channel. And today we are here with the lovely members of Epica with Mark and Isaac. Hi guys, welcome. Thank you. Hello. So you just returned from uh, Metal Fest in uh, Czech Republic. How was the crowd there? How was the show? Did you enjoy your playing? Yeah, it was an amazing crowd there. You have a very great uh, theater, and the crowd uh, is like standing and goes a bit up like this. Yeah, it looked massive, and it was a great crowd. Uh, you yourself established your very own Epic Metal Fest, uh, which launched last year, and this year you have also added uh, Brazil date. Mm -hmm. uh, why did you come up with, with this idea of having the festival at two totally different places? Because it's cool. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like we are, uh, you know, pretty big in Brazil too, so we. We started with the concept last year, and then we decided to see if it's uh, a, a cool idea to just bring it all over the world, and uh, that's the first step. So uh, really curious about uh, how it will go in Brazil. Yeah. I wish it will, it will be well. Yeah, yeah and good luck with that. <laughs> um, well, now everybody's super excited about the new album, The Holographic Principle. Uh, have you guys thought about any special themes that you incorporated into the lyrics? Can you tell us something about it or not yet? Um, without revealing too much, the, the concept behind uh, the holographic principle is uh, about virtual reality. The, the techniques are really improving very fastly and sooner or later you put on uh, this kind of helmet and you are in a world comparable to where we are now. And at that moment you might realize, hey, what does this tell us about this reality? Maybe it's also not the real reality. Maybe it's just a layer of a higher reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we just have to wait, probably, right? Yeah. For us, you have to wait, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, again. <laughs> just um, ask more questions. You yeah, might, yeah. You might get more um, answers. <laughs> another question about the new album. If you would uh, have to sum, sum up the whole record in three words, which ones would you choose? Um, <laughs> totally fucking awesome. <laughs> totally fucking awesome, yeah. <laughs> it's difficult. Only three words for an Epica album is really difficult. But uh, that would kind of, you know, we, we are very happy with the result. And it's, uh, I think it's, it's, yeah, more of what you're used to if you think about Epica, you know, it's just more of it, more, uh, the orchestration is totally real this time, no samples, uh, which makes it just, yeah, more mature and more human in a way. Um, yeah. You could explain a thousand world words. Yeah, <laughs> not three words, but, yeah. so I should shut up, I guess. But <laughs> totally Thank you, off. that sounds <laughs> it up, I think. Yeah. Um, well then, <laughs> have, you dis have you discovered any new bands or movies that inspired you writing the new material throughout the period of creating it? I didn't. I was too busy writing the album. But uh, <laughs> no, I basically go back to what I... I have a couple of bands and a couple of albums I really like. And every time I'm kind of stuck, I just listen back to those albums. and Or it can, you know, one of the songs... I was influenced by a, a, a Coca-Cola commercial. I just heard a certain vibe in that song which came with the commercial and, uh, and that was enough inspiration for me to start this certain song. That's interesting, Coca-Cola and Epica. Or, you know, <laughs> no, well, you know, you just go uh, for a walk with the dog, for instance, and then some ideas just pop into your head. So. But maybe for Mark it was different, I don't know. Yeah, sometimes uh, the vibe of one song uh, can already inspire you to, st to start writing a song which has, then complete, uh, has completely nothing to do with the original song, but just it inspires you to write music. And that can happen with, with any, uh, any band. It can even be an, a non-metal band. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, I personally have been attending your concerts in the area for almost a decade. And I must tell that your shows have changed drastically. I mean, your show, they are more dynamic. You have added the light, light effects, also the pyro effects. This, did this come up naturally, or did you all sit and agree on it and like, let's go and do it like this? 
Well, of course, you you talk about it, but it's like that, you know, the bigger the band gets, the more budgets you have to do stuff like that. And of course, I think Epica is kind of a, you know, lots of people, if they hear the music, they can visualize something. And that's what you, to have the total Epica experience, as we say it so commercially, um, that's basically what you want. You want, you know, people pay good money to come see a band. You can see a band playing or you can see a band who's playing and also having a kind of visual attractive show and we're always looking for new ways to do that and um, yeah so we kind of decide that ourselves with that guy who's a <laughs> our light designer so uh, he helps uh, he helps us with you know uh, the whole show and, and we have our pyro guy and you know that's how we do it. And we have also spotted that the bud somehow disappeared from the set list. Is this somehow the, the ballot ah. disappeared from the set list? Is this somehow related to the dynamism of the entire? Yeah, we noticed that uh, the ballot sometimes uh, g yeah, gets you a bit out of the, the atmosphere of a concert. You build it up and then suddenly a ballot and then you have to start all over. And uh, it, it can happen that the ballot returns in the future. But for now, uh, we feel happy with uh, a uh, nice heavy set and uh, it works really well and uh, almost nobody complains about uh, missing the ballot so <laughs> most of the people love it this way. We're getting crazier and crazier. <laughs> and I guess it's sort of a you know also with each album we tend to go a little heavier than mm -hmm. the previous one we still have the ballad on the album but uh, also the dynamics of the show as you said you know like you followed us for 10 years apparently and that the dynamics of the show, the, they change, and that's just kind of a phase of the band, I guess. Uh, but that means no ballads, there's no, no in-between uh, wines and beers for us, so we have to work <laughs> harder, you know? Yeah, you have to be there all, all the time, yeah. so. <laughs> uh, talking about crazy, what was the craziest thing you have witnessed from stage? Uh, for me, it's obviously there was in Belgium already many years ago that people were having sex in front of oh the stage. God. Yeah, that was the weirdest thing, and, and it happened uh, in front of uh, a former guitar player. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and he was really upset about it. Uh, and <laughs> he came and I said, "What's wrong during the show?" Uh, oh, there's people fucking. There. <laughs> so, so we switched places. <laughs> I watched uh, a bit, and then uh, I was also uh, done with it. <laughs> <laughs> And you, Isaac? Oh, Have you wow. seen something? Uh, something crazy. Disturbing? I can't, or? I can't top that, you know? <laughs> yeah. uh, something yeah. disturbing? Well, probably, I don't know. Well, sometimes it's like if people get in a fight, you throw a guitar pick in the audience and they really start fighting over it. It's like, oh, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> but, um, you know, that, that's about it, I guess. And the last question we have for you. If you had to switch positions with any member of your band, who would you choose and why? Just for a day or for a show? Aryan. Yeah, I always why? wanted to be a drummer, so I. W but if I change, I want to have his skills too, because he's really damn yeah. good. So you don't play drums? I, I have played drums, but uh, also in the College of Music, I had one year of drum lessons, and I always tried, like in the past, I was around. 16 years old when I started playing in band so every every time when we had a little break during rehearsals I would go and sit behind a drum kit but I don't have a drum on my own because then I wouldn't do other stuff anymore I guess and I kind of you know uh, it's okay now if I play guitar you know I can live with it and what about you Mark I would be either uh, keyboards or drums as well but also with the skills, otherwise it yeah, wouldn't make sense. <laughs> but uh, it's because I've never done that yet. So it uh, would be interesting. Yeah. So thank you both for your time. What about you? Oh my God. You, uh, which I would Epica member would you like to be? You don't have a violinist. I would love to be a violinist. Okay. I'll it's difficult, that. but it sounds great. But that's not an answer to our question. Um, you have to pick one of us. On drums, it would kick ass, I think. But it's so too it's difficult. Everybody wants to be honest. No, but well, you, you get the skills, so. Well, yeah, if you, yeah, if you have the skills, then yeah. without a doubt. <laughs> Drummers for the win. <laughs> so.
So yeah, guys, thank you very much for your time. Uh, enjoy your show here and your time, and I hope we'll see you next time, some, sometimes yeah, in the sure. future. Thanks for having yeah. us. <laughs> Tie najdrosnejšie informačné rífy ti prináša www.rocker.sk.